What's up Strength World? This is John Norcott here with Norcott's No Nonsense Training and today I'm going to be demonstrating and informing you about a self myofascial release exercise using a car buffer. Alright, so when we talk about self myofascial release, typically what we talk about is a self way of massaging yourself either using a foam roller or a barbell. Today I'm going to be doing that with a car buffer. So when we talk about self myofascial release for the upper body, a lot of people may use a lacrosse ball or an in place uh, mobility ball to really hit some trigger point or um, parts of the muscles that may be hard to reach using a foam roller or a barbell. Like, you know, sitting on the ground and rolling on your back on a lacrosse ball or leaning up against the wall and targeting your shoulders and pecs. Well, this can do all that for you and you can do it by yourself in a standing or seated position as well. So. The concept is simple, all you do is turn it on, you put it onto the muscle and you massage away at yourself. But the execution and how you want to approach it, there are really three different ways you can do it. You can put it flat onto your chest or your muscle group and massage it that way. You can turn it on its side and go against the muscle fiber or with the muscle fiber. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here in a second. And it's really great because you can really target the smaller muscle groups like your forearms, your biceps, and your triceps. If you do a lot of pulling exercises like myself, or if you catch cleans a lot and do a lot of front squatting, you find that it's troublesome sometimes. You may have tightness in your bicep or in your forearm and triceps. So I'm going to show you what you can do here to help yourself and prepare yourself for better warm-ups and better workouts as well. So you turn it on, and all you do is you just press it up against your muscles and let it do what it needs to do, and you really dictate how much pressure you want. So right now I'm keeping it flat, going with the muscle. Now I can turn it on its side and also go with the muscle. But now I can also go against the muscle grain. Work my way up into my shoulder. Slowly work my way down into my bicep. Hit them problem areas, maybe in forearm tightness or wrist tightness. Work up into the back of my tricep. I can also hit my upper trap, rear delt, and lats. So again, this is something you can do by yourself or with a partner. I suggest anyone who has the ability to go and buy a car buffer to do so because it's something that you can just plug in and use. You won't have to worry about battery life or the ability to necessarily always have a partner there to help you out. It does help if you have a partner and they can reach parts of your back you may not be able to reach or if you're afraid to do it yourself and for whatever reason you feel better having a partner do it with you, then that will work as well. They're pretty simple to use and they're really easy to buy. You go to Home Depot or Lowe's or any store that may sell car buffers and they're anywhere from $20 to $40. We have some here at Wayne State for our athletes. I inform them and teach them about using it all the time. I utilize it every time I warm up to work out. It really just helps me get the upper body flowing and ready to go for the day. So I hope you guys learned something from this. Make sure to check me out on Instagram and follow me at No Nonsense Training. Look at my page on Facebook and like it. It's Norcott's No Nonsense Training. Also look out for me on YouTube as well. I appreciate you guys taking your time. Thank you very much and stay strong.